Hey, 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 and welcome to Where's the Nurse? Yep, I'm Nurse Vicky, and it's my first day on the unit. Wish me luck. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. So let's meet the dream team. That's me, Nurse Vicky. Then we have Dr. Noah, as well as our dear patient, Mr. James. Let's go. Today, we're talking about the classic appendicitis. So grab your notes or your coffee and let's make this fun. But before I get started, pause this video and head over to the description to get the link to our 600 page nursing mega bundle with over 30 nursing study guides and our exam review guide for all our nursing courses and 250 questions and rationales. Over 25,000 nursing students are using these study guides and they are loving it. Meet Mr. James. Mr. James is a 24 year old male who works at a local coffee shop. He has no significant past medical history and describes himself as generally healthy. One sunny morning, he began experiencing a dull pain around his belly button. He brushed it aside and thought that it may just be gas or something that he ate. Two days later, James noticed that he had no appetite, he felt slightly nauseated, and had a mild fever and abdominal pain. At this point, he decided to visit the emergency department. That's where I come in. Good morning, Mr. James. I'm Nurse Vicky. What brings you to the ER today? Mr. James explained his signs and symptoms. He told me that he had pain at the right lower side of his tummy, fever, and vomiting. I then went on to take his vital signs. And there you can see that his temperature is indeed elevated. That shows that he has fever. Hmm, right lower quadrant pain, fever, and vomiting? Are you thinking what I'm thinking right now? Yep, we can suspect appendicitis. Let's talk about this a little bit more. Appendicitis is the inflammation of the appendix, usually due to an obstruction. This obstruction can be a stool, an infection, or a tumor. Now with appendicitis, when it becomes blocked, bacteria will multiply. This will cause a lot of pressure to increase and the appendix will swell. Remember this, if the appendicitis is left untreated, it can rupture and lead to peritonitis. Peritonitis is life-threatening. On to the signs and symptoms. Mr. James showed us the classic symptoms of appendicitis. Let's go through this. The first one is fever. His fever was 38 degrees Celsius. So that shows that indeed, this is showing that he has some sort of inflammation or infection going on. Number two is right lower quadrant pain. Remember that your appendix is at the right lower quadrant. Number three is vomiting. Indeed, he had vomiting. And number four is loss of appetite. Mr. James did not want to eat. Now, although there are four signs and symptoms, there is something that I want you to remember, and that is the Murphy's triad. A triad are three signs and symptoms that points you to a disorder. In this case, Murphy's triad will point you to appendicitis, that is fever, right lower quadrant pain, and vomiting. 
Two other things I want you to remember is roofing sign and sew a sign. So if the left lower quadrant is palpated and Mr. James feel pain at the right lower quadrant, this will show that he has a positive roofing sign. For sew a sign, if the right thigh of Mr. James is extended backwards and he feels pain at the right lower quadrant, this is a positive sew a sign. Great, let's talk to Dr. Noah. Dr. Noah and I discussed, and he thinks that we need to do some diagnostic tests first to confirm if this is appendicitis. So these are the diagnostic tests he suggested. CBC, specifically looking at the white blood cells, abdominal ultrasound, and CT scan. All right, the results are in. When we look at the CBC, indeed, there is an increase in the white blood cells. This will show that there is some sort of infection or inflammation going on. The abdominal ultrasound shows that he has an enlarged appendix, and the CT scan also showed that as well. Now we can confirm the diagnosis of appendicitis. So what will we do? What will be the medical management? Let's go through this together. Number one, we want to maintain NPO. Remember that for appendicitis, we would want to do an appendectomy, so we will maintain NPO. Number two is IV fluids. We need to hydrate our patient because they are not taking anything orally. We would give IV antibiotics for our patient because there is an infection going on. And lastly, remember pain management for our patient. We are doing this all to prepare our patient for the surgical management of appendectomy. All right, let's focus on our nursing management as well. Here are the big no's you need to remember for your exams. There are certain things that you shouldn't do that can lead to peritonitis. Number one, do not apply pressure to the right lower quadrant. Number two, do not apply heat to the right lower quadrant. Number four, do not give your patient any laxative or enema. Why? This can all increase the risk of the rupture of the appendix. Great, now that you remember the no-nos, let's continue. Monitor the vital signs, especially the temperature and the heart rate. We want to do pain management and assessment for our patient and prepare our patient for surgery, such as NPO and getting the informed consent. Now that you know this, after surgery, what should you do? Post-op management includes monitoring the wound and wound management. Early ambulation is important, so we need to encourage our patients to ambulate early. Why? Because it can lead to a blood clot. If the patient doesn't move around, DVT, which is deep vein thrombosis, can form. Monitor for signs of infection and teach your patient for no heavy lifting, wound care, and report any fever or pus. You did it. You just went through the case of appendicitis. Before we end, let me just test your knowledge. Let's see if you can figure this out. Let's do this together. So here is a question. A nurse is assessing a client with suspected appendicitis. Which of the following findings should be reported to the healthcare provider immediately? Now, when you get questions like this, it's a bit tricky because pain, yes, it's serious. 
nausea and vomiting for two hours? That's serious. A positive rolfsing sign? Hmm. But here is the trick. When these are the expected signs and symptoms, you don't have to report it because we know that a patient with appendicitis would have pain, would vomit, right? But what you need to report is a complication, something that is not expected with the condition. Ah, huh, I hope you learned something today. So pain is out, okay? Nausea and vomiting is also what? Out. Because this is expected. Positive roasting sign is out because this is expected. And what is that? What is roasting sign? Yes, roasting sign is when you palpate the left lower quadrant and the patient feels the pain at the right lower quadrant. So the answer is C. Why is the answer C? Hmm. Remember that your exams, they love to test you on peritonitis. And one of the things that you need to remember is that when there is a sudden, that is the key word here, sudden relief of abdominal pain, it means that the appendix has ruptured. You know when something is all inflamed and all that? It's very painful. But when it ruptures, you feel that relief. Well, this relief is not good. And you need to report it because the patient may be having peritonitis. Let's do another question. Which nursing intervention is inappropriate for a client with suspected appendicitis? The word here is inappropriate and the condition that we are talking about here is appendicitis. So we know that mm, it seems this patient has appendicitis. What shouldn't I do? A. Keep the client and PO. We need to do this. We need to prepare our patient for surgery. Number two is placing the client in a semi-fowler's position. That's fine. Okay, C, apply an ice pack to the abdomen. Remember that it's heat, not ice pack. So an ice pack is fine. So what's the answer? It's D, administer laxative. We don't want to do this. Remember your no-nos. So that's it. D is the answer. All right. Thank you for being part of the dream team. I was so anxious today. I didn't know that I can do this. But with your help, we just finished the case of Mr. James with appendicitis. Be sure to click that link in the description box for you to get all our nursing school study guides and for you to download it today. All right. Until next time, take care.